plane, raise a car, drive a train. Would you want to? Charlie? Oh. Imagine you could sail the seas, fly to the moon, swing through the trees. Would you want to? Unbelievable. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh. Uh. Oh! Oh, there you are! I thought we were going to find a monster with big footprints. <laughs> Are they monster footprints? Lion footprints? Oh, I see! Dinosaur footprints! Scary dinosaur footprints. Oh, good. So not all dinosaurs are big and scary then. <laughs> not unless it's a Charlie Saurus. Ooh, thank goodness there isn't a real Charlie Saurus out there. Are you going to discover the Charlie Saurus, Charlie Bear? Charlie-saurus is hiding. Maybe it's shy. OK, so the Charlie-saurus is definitely very big. Say sorry for scaring it. I think the Charlie Saurus was wearing those big boots to make scary footprints. <laughs> Maybe it wants everyone to think it's bigger and scarier than it really is. I don't think the Charlie Saurus likes loud noises. I hope you're not going to scare the Charlie Saurus, Charlie Bear. I think the Charlie Saurus really wants you to be quiet, Charlie, but I wonder why. Oh, you weren't the only one trying to discover the Charlie Saurus. It was trying to keep quiet so the photographer didn't discover it. The Charlie Saurus doesn't like having its photograph taken. I think you're going to have to help the Charlie Saurus to hide. Hurry, Charlie! The photographer is coming! for the Charlie Saurus. Phew! 
Well done, Charlie. Oh, dear. I think the Charlie-saurus is worried that the photographer might come back. What are you going to do, Charlie? to let him take his photo, Charlie. <laughs> well done, Charlie Bear. You saved the Charlie Saurus from being discovered by the photographer. Are you going to go back and play with the Charlie-saurus now? Maybe he really does want to be by himself. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. What are you going to discover next, Charlie? A little bug? Marvellous. Bye-bye, little Charlie bear. Bye-bye, everybody. There, Charlie Bear. Charlie, will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Ah, oh, Charlie, there you are. What are you looking for? Ah, oh, batteries. What do you need batteries for? Oh, I see. You want to use your torch. It's too bright to see the torch light, isn't it? You need to make your room darker, Charlie. That's better. Could you aim that somewhere else, please, Charlie? Thank you. Ah, you found Midge! And he's huge! Look at his shadow! Are you going to play a shadow game with all your friends, Charlie? That's Midge! Do we have to guess all your friends by their shadows? Great! I love guessing. OK. Mm, long ears. Uh, oh, oh, that, that's Niblet. Mm. Uh, long legs. It must be Ballerina. All square shapes. Must be Rivet. Big tummy, <laughs> that's Frozo. Now that can only be caramel. <laughs> and that's you, Charlie, of course. Your shadow can't do things by itself, Charlie. It only does what you do when you do it. That's how shadows work. Where are you and your shadow sneaking off to, Charlie? I can see you. What are you doing outside in the dark, Charlie? Light. And look at the shadow it makes. <laughs> Great start.
car jumps, Shadow Charlie. Oh, that looks like a big mouth. Are you a, a crocodile? <laughs> yes! What's next, Charlie? Oh, another animal. Uh, I know! You're an elephant. And now you're a ballet dancer like Bellerina. <laughs> Shadows are so much fun, aren't they? What else can you do with your shadow, Charlie? Wow! Your shadow has come to life by itself. Unbelievable! Shadows can't really do that, not really. <laughs> Amazing! Wow! 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 You can make your shadow do such incredible things, Charlie! Bravo! Oh! <laughs> your shadow can do other things too, like tickle you! Oh dear! <laughs> it doesn't want to stop! Finally! Your shadow is quite naughty, isn't it? Uh, Charlie, I think your shadow is sneaking up on you. Are you refusing to play until your shadow behaves itself? I think it worked. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. I love your shadow show, Charlie. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? <laughs> I know that's you, Charlie. I would recognise that paw anywhere. Um, that's quite a mess you've made, Charlie. Are you going to... Oh, right. You're going to do some building. Whatever it is you're building, Charlie, it looks very impressive. Are you finished, Charlie? Fantastic! I love it! It's a, is it a city of some sort? Maybe a city for mice or perhaps for incredibly small elephants? <laughs> oh, I see! You've made an obstacle course for Niblet to bounce around! Wow! Niblet is the greatest bouncer in the world! Ooh, that's a tall tower. Hold on, Charlie. You can't fling Niblet up over that tower. It's too high for him. He'll be scared to try and bounce over that, won't he? And it sounds like there's a huge crowd here, too. I wonder what they've all come to watch. Oh, we're about to find out. It's you, Charlie. And you're a showman. What are you going to show us, Charlie? I'm sure it's going to be very exciting. <laughs> Wow! Look at Nibbler!
split. He's a superstar. Is Niblet going to bounce over all that? It's all very big and tall. On your mark, get set, go! Be careful. Hey! Oh, smooth. Nibble is very bouncy. Wow! Bravo! He's amazing. Oh, well done, Nibble, and well done, Charlie. That was a great show. Charlie, that's a lot taller than the one in your room. Are you sure Niblet can bounce over it? <laughs> Niblet doesn't look very sure. Oh no, I can hardly watch. I'm so glad it's all over. Oh, no, 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 Charlie. Niblet will never bounce over that. Charlie, no bunny rabbit can bounce that high. It's too high. With a super duper pogo stick to bounce on. Wow! Oh no! Nibbler has bounced so high, he has bounced right up to the sky and out of sight! You never made Niblet bounce so high. You pushed your friend too far, Charlie. He's not happy. Are you going to say sorry to Niblet? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, that's something Niblet will like doing. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh, where can he be? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. And what a huge piece of paper. Ah, that's what it's for. Are you drawing around yourself? You drew an outline of your entire body. Fantastic! it up. A sun hat, woolly hat, sunglasses, scarf, warm mittens, boots, umbrella. Your drawing is dressed for all the seasons of the year. You know what seasons are, Charlie? 
Each year has four seasons. Summer, when it is hot. Autumn, when it gets cooler. Winter, the coldest season. And then spring, when it warms up again. And then we get back to summer. Autumn, winter, spring, and so on. It's such a beautiful sunny day, Charlie. No wonder you feel like dancing. The sun is shining, the birds sing, it's lovely and hot. It must be summer for it to be this hot, Charlie. Ah, that's a good idea. Sunglasses are good to wear in summer. They keep the sun out of your eyes. And you look quite cool. And a sun hat to keep the sun off your head. That's a good idea, too. <coughs> Swimming is lovely to do in summer, too. <coughs> In summer, trees all have their shady green leaves. And a lot of fruit grows in summer. That's a beautiful orange apricot. And outdoor sports like tennis are great in summer as well, Charlie. The trees are turning different colours. Oh, the season is changing. Do you remember what season comes after summer, Charlie? No? Autumn! In autumn, the weather gets a little chillier and sometimes windier and stormier too, which is great for flying kites. The green summer leaves dry up and blow away as the plants and trees get ready for... Winter! The season has changed again. After summer comes autumn, and then after autumn comes winter. Good idea to dress up warm in the winter cold, Charlie. Oh, and look at the tree now. That always happens, Charlie. The plants and trees go to sleep for winter. <coughs> And when it gets really cold, water freezes into slippery ice. <laughs> Winter can be a lot of fun. But sometimes being inside all warm and toasty and away from snowballs is the best. Charlie, the season has changed. And look at the tree. Do you remember what season comes after winter? Spring! Plants and trees wake up in spring and grow flowers and new leaves. And spring can be quite rainy too. Rain helps the plants grow. So each year we have four seasons. Summer, autumn, winter and spring. Summer, autumn, winter, 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 spring. Oh, oh dear. Did the seasons change too quickly, Charlie? Charlie? Now you're prepared for every season at once. Bravo, Charlie. You've got to love that bear. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye-bye, little Charlie bear. Bye-bye, everybody.
Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie! Why have you got your eyes shut? What are you doing? Oh! Is it a present? So that's why you closed your eyes. You want the present to be a surprise. So who's the present for? Bellerina? How lovely, Charlie! Oh, it's not for Bellerina. Bellerina is giving the present to you. A book! What a great present! What's the matter? Don't you like it? Oh, dear. You've already read it. I wonder what Bellerina has given you this time. What's wrong, Charlie? Is that not what you wanted either? You've got loads of those already. Charlie, it's very nice of Bellerina to give you presents. Even if they aren't quite what you wanted, it might hurt her feelings that you don't like any of them. What present do you want? You want the best present ever? Well, you're bound to find it in this present shop. You should ring the bell, Charlie. What a lovely shiny blue box! Is that the best surprise present, Charlie Bear? <laughs> yes, it, it's a bit big. A red one this time. Nice. But you've got sunglasses already, haven't you? Oh, look, a square one. What could it be? Ah, more building blocks. Never mind, Charlie. You'll find the best present. Maybe Bellerina has another one you can open. Wow! Look at all those presents! I wonder how many there are, Charlie Bear. Shall I count them as you open them? Ready? Steady. Oh, go! <laughs> <laughs> one. Two, three, oh, that's no, four. four. Oh, I like the, the six, uh, seven, oh, look, eight, um, nine, wow, that's a ten. <laughs> Phew, there's so many. You 
opened all those presents and still didn't find the one you wanted? The best present ever? <laughs> Wait a minute, Charlie, look! There's one more present to open. It's not as prettily wrapped as the others, but it might be just what you're looking for. Open it, Charlie. <laughs> Ballerina! <laughs> now that is a wonderful surprise. You did find the best present ever, Charlie, and it was something you already had. Ballerina! It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, Ballerina. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? He doesn't seem to be here. There you are, Charlie. What are you drawing? Is it a pink pancake on two sticks? <laughs> oh? Oh, I know, I know. A pink wedding hat. Oh. Um, hold on. Is it a cake with candles? <laughs> it must be a birthday cake you're drawing. Mmm, with strawberry icing too. <laughs> it's not your birthday, Charlie. Is it one of your toy friend's birthdays? Let's count the candles. Maybe that will give us a clue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? None of your friends are that old. So if it isn't anyone's birthday, then why did you draw a birthday cake, Charlie? Oh, you're blowing out the candles because you want to make a wish. Are you making a wish now? What are you wishing for, Charlie? Oh, sorry. You made a wish. I can't wait to find out what it is. Yay! That's a castle. Wow! And that's a throne. Oh, Charlie, your wish was to be a king. King Charlie! I suppose that as a king you could wish for anything you wanted. Oh, especially if you've got a wizard. A wizard can use magic to make things happen. Oh, yeah, hat's fallen off there, Frozen. Charlie wishes for a special dance to be done for him. Oh, hat throws out. <laughs> that moustache looks absolutely silly. Um, um, it looks very regal. Yes, yes, a moustache fit for a king. Oh, yes, you... 
It must be very hot going for a walk in the sunshine with such a heavy crown on your head, King Charlie. <laughs> shade you from the hot sun, doesn't it? I suppose a king shouldn't really get muddy. <laughs> They're very pink. <laughs> when flowers smell lovely. Do you want to smell just like the flower? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Charlie, with that moustache, cloud, boots and petals around your head, you look... <laughs> You look very funny! Uh, and Wizard Frozo can't undo your wishes! Maybe being a king and having all your wishes come true wasn't so great after all. <laughs> now you want to be a wizard? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. You wanted to be back home, Charlie. A fish? Charlie, I thought you were finished making wishes. Oh, I see. It's Frozo's wish. <laughs> bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Are you going to come out? Charlie? Is something wrong? Oh, dear. No wonder you're feeling sad, Charlie. Your tennis racket is broken. Were you going to play tennis? Oh, maybe you could do something else instead, like playing football. You haven't done that for a while. Oh, well, you could pump it up. Or find another ball. That rubber bouncy ball is probably too small to play football with. Okay, Charlie. Still feeling sad. Perhaps you could play outside. Oh dear. Nothing is going right today, is it, Charlie? Oh no. This won't do, Charlie. This won't do at all. We need to cheer you up. Just think of nice, happy things. Come on, Charlie. Close your eyes and imagine you're in a happy place. Oh, what a beautiful place. Just looking at it makes me feel happy. And you look happy too, Charlie. Very happy. Charlie, I'm so happy you're not sad anymore. Rainbow! 
snow. Look at the colours. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violets. Woohoo! <laughs> you are one happy little bear. <laughs> Rainbows are one of those things that just make you happy, don't you think, Charlie? Are you okay, Charlie? <laughs> oh, that's odd. The colour just disappeared. Fairy Bellarina knows how to fix it with that magic paint and brush. Charlie. Oh, uh, Charlie, your job is not finished yet. The rainbow needs more painting. Yes, I think the colours are staying, Charlie. The rainbow is as beautiful and colourful as ever. Yes! Go, Charlie! Do your happy dance! Ow! Are you OK? Oh, no, Charlie. You're back to feeling sad and... Oh, no, 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 no! The rainbow colours! They're all gone! How did that happen? How can all the colours just disappear like that? I don't understand. Unless... <laughs> I've worked it out, Charlie. <laughs> Every time you feel sad, the rainbow loses its colour. Rainbows are supposed to be happy things, you see. Isn't it silly? <laughs> Hooray, Charlie! Happy, happy, happy! <laughs> It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. I'm so pleased you're feeling happy now, Charlie. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie! What are you looking for? It's your pet rock, Dwayne. I haven't seen him for a long time. <laughs> oh, I see. Dwayne asked to sit there, did he? <laughs> you really are looking after your pet rock, Charlie. I don't think Dwayne can jump. He's a rock. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Charlie, I don't think Dwayne can fetch a ball either. 
Charlie, rocks can't jump or fetch. They can't even move. Oh, dear. Don't you want a pet rock anymore? But Dwayne is easy to look after. What other sort of pet would you like, Charlie? A horse? You want a pet horse? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I see it now. It's a dog. Of course it is. It's a dog. I love dogs, but they are a lot harder to look after than pet rocks. Are you sure you're ready for a dog, Charlie? For something, Charlie. It's only Bellarina. <coughs> Bellarina and her pet dog. <coughs> I think Bellarina wants you to look after her dog while she gets an ice cream, Charlie. You know, Bellarina's dog looks an awful lot like Midge. Don't you think, Charlie? <laughs> OK, well, now you've got a pet dog. At least for a little while. Ah, yes, a walk. Good idea, Charlie. Dogs love going for walks. You do look very happy to be looking after a dog, Charlie. And what an obedient dog! He does everything you say. <laughs> and a bit more, too. <laughs> That's another thing dogs like doing. Licking. Maybe this dog isn't so obedient after all, Charlie. Oh, yes! A stick! Dogs love chasing after sticks. Uh-oh! I don't think this dog likes that rabbit. Oh, no! Charlie! Hang in there, Charlie! Watch out! Stop, Midge Dog! Charlie, hang on! Well, at least he stopped. Finally. <laughs> oh, that's why. Bellarina has her ice cream. Yum! That's nice of Bellarina to get you an ice cream too, Charlie. Does this mean that you're not quite ready to have a pet dog? Oh, oh dear. A pet rock wouldn't have licked your ice cream, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Dwayne is a great pet, Charlie. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. 
And wow, you're looking very strong. How strong are you, Charlie? Press ups? That's strong. Sit ups? You have to be strong to do those too. Your favourite superhero. Are you feeling super strong like super bear pants, Charlie? Aha! You have your superhero cape. And it helps you to be super fast. Are you going to lift that incredibly heavy box full of incredibly heavy rocks? Wow! You really are super strong like super bear pants! Uh, Charlie, we can see that the box is empty. What's that? Hey, there's nothing there. Charlie, where's he gone now? Hey, we're at the park. Nibbler is having fun skateboarding. Midge is playing with a football. Ballerina is flying a kite. But what do they all see? Is it a bird? Maybe a bird like a seagull, but seagulls aren't that fast. Or a pigeon, no? Pigeons aren't that big. Maybe it was a big chicken in a hurry. Or... <laughs> oh! It wasn't a bird after all. It was you, Charlie! Wow, Charlie. You really are a superhero like Super Bear Pants. Are you strong like him too? Super strong! <laughs> oh dear! So strong you broke Niblet's skateboard. Football back, Charlie. play with you anymore, superhero Charlie. Just go over and say you are sorry, Charlie. Niblet, Midge and Bellarina will forgive you. They will. Oh, dear. Don't you want to be super strong anymore? Uh-oh! Their kite has got stuck up the tree! Superhero Charlie! Bravo, Charlie! Oh, that's 
just super. See, Charlie? Friends always forgive friends. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. A ballerina and niblet superheroes, Charlie. And Rivet is a superhero too. <laughs> Are all your friends superheroes, Charlie? Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, is that you, Charlie? Hello? What's all that you've got there, Charlie? They look like they're parts for making something. It's a kite! Oh, I love flying kites! Oh, but you can't fly a kite inside, Charlie. You need to go outside in the wind, so the kite will blow up high to fly in the sky. <laughs> hey, that rhymed. Is it a windy day today? You don't look very pleased, so I'm guessing that... There is no wind? If there was, it would blow that bit of paper. Oh. Oh, that's a shame, Charlie. I'm sure there's something else you could do instead of flying a kite. Some days are suited for doing other things, that's all. Flying a kite is something to do on a windy day. So, you're going to do something else instead? No, you're not. So, but it is a strong wind. A very strong wind indeed. A very, very strong wind. It's even quite hard to walk in too, isn't it? Are you really, really sure you can fly a kite in a wind this strong, Charlie? Okay, but I'm worried that it might blow you away too. Hold on, Charlie! Oh, well done, Charlie Bear. You can fly the kite after all. But can you stay where you are? nice of Rivet. He will help you to hold on to the kite and stay in one place. Oh, oh dear. Good, Niblet is 
is helping too. Charlie, today is really not a good day to fly a kite. First, it wasn't windy enough, and now it's just too windy. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Now you're blowing like the wind, Charlie. Before, you were just like that ping pong ball getting blown about. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 